Hello and welcome to the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene Daily Devotion for Friday, May the 28th. Today we are reading from the book of 1 John chapter 3 verses 1 through 10. Here is the word of the Lord. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. All who have this hope in Him purify themselves, just as He is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of, the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in them, and they cannot go on sinning, because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother or their sister. That is the word of the Lord. The article today by Samuel Samos is titled, Two Birthdays. A young boy, about seven years old, once told me it was his second birthday and promptly invited me to his, birth, to his party. His parents were dear friends of mine, so I asked them to confirm the child's second birthday. With a smile and a short laughter, they explained that he indeed had a birthday. And since he was adopted, he also had a got you birthday, the day he was born into the family. They celebrated both the birthdays and made them equally important. That concept warmed my heart and he was excited about being a part of his family. He was loved. That is exactly the way we feel when we celebrate our adoption into God's family. The scriptures tell us, see what great love the Father has lavished on us so that we should be called children, children of God verse 1 of what we just read. <clears throat> Excuse me. The word lavish is a beautiful notion. It means a great quantity to lovingly spoil or the outpouring of oneself. God loved us so much that he adopted us. Being called children of God is being a part of his family. It is to have two birthdays just as Nicodemus found that we are to be born again. That is a unique expression of love. Two birthdays. The hymn is Such Love by C. Bishop. Such love, such wondrous love, that God should love a sinner such as I. How wonderful is love like this. In Psalm 8, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And that is your daily devotion for Friday, May the 28th. Have a wonderful day.